DJ Spawn in the building. Jay Bird Wells in the building. Bretagne, who we chose over the guy with the butt crank. Uh, he's not here because we chose her. We chose her over the butt crack man. Oh, butt crack man. I don't know who the butt crack man is. His, his name is actually Zagato Zig, the Zigman Zig, as I like to call him. Oh, he's a Zigman Zig. I got my uh, kitty riding a motorized shark t shirt today. Everybody always wants to know the t shirt that I'm wearing. Well, there's the t shirt. I could do a T-shirt of the day if somebody would pay for it. If somebody would do a sponsor gig, I'll do a T-shirt of the day. But there's no T-shirt of the day. What you're hearing in the background is the great DJ Spawn. The big stuff. Star Station Screen DJ Spawn, as they, as they say. And then J. Bird Wells and her, her little pink tail thing there. How long did it take you to get that hair put up that way? You, the hair. Couple minutes. Couple minutes. Well, okay. I wish I had hair like that that I could do. But I don't have hair. I don't. I'm here. I'm there. I'm everywhere. And it is the top of the hour. Thanks for joining us live on the stream at JiggyJaguar.com. Thanks for joining us on... Uh, Jigman Freud Radio, also the uh, Jiggy Jaguar official app, is available at JiggyJaguar.us. You can download it for Apple and for iPhone. Apple and iPhone are the same thing. Android. Thank you. It should just, I should just say Google Play in the iPod store. That is what I usually say. So, all she can hear is DJ Spawn, so... We're going to get to our next guest here in just a few seconds. Okay, brother. Uh, kind of bring the music down. Once, once he gets into it, he gets into it. That's all I got to say. He just well, likes watching me dance. He's DJ Spawn. He's a big deal. He's a big, he's a big star out here, DJ Spawn. So uh, let's go over to the couch for our next guest. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, when I made the comment earlier about I thought Craig Coleman from the show, Craig Coleman show in quotes walked in, I swear to God, it, it, you look like Craig Coleman. I don't know who Craig Coleman he is. A, uh, he used to be an internet radio DJ. Uh, so. Well, no, I'm Connor Rocket. <laughs> yeah, that's my name. <laughs> so, so, so tell us how you got started doing this music thing, brother. Man, I've been rapping since I was, like, young. Just, you know, driving around, making moves or whatever we were doing back in Wichita. And that's, like, the soundtrack to it is hip-hop. Just yeah, like coming up and doing whatever we were doing. I won't go into details, but you know, you just kind of want to try it out, and so you try freestyling and shit. And then I felt like I was dope, so I kept doing it. I did that for years, just being that weird kid at the parties, <laughs> like you know, really <laughs> being like, the weird kid. Because I don't parties. look like a rapper, and I know that. And so, like, especially back yes, then. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Thank you. I never get that, but. uh <laughs> You know, eventually That's I, funny. I started That's taking cause... it seriously and recording music. I've been recording since like 2011. That's because you ain't ever had a friend like me. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Good Lord. It is, uh, I don't even know what to say. Jay Bird <laughs> Wells is here with us. Uh, do you have any questions for our, for our guest before I, uh, I want to know, did you do any kind of music in high school? Elementary? Um, like, like, I used to, like, my mom, when I went to church, like, the whole reason we went to church was for the music, so my mom, like, directed the choir and, like, played the piano. So I guess it's, like, a musical background that I come from a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's awesome. Um, And I was in the choir, but they were, they were always singing whack shit, and, like, show tunes and stuff, so I fucking, like, at school. So you were the kind of person to listen to, like, uh, DC Talk or Gospel Gangsters? No. I mean, it was, like, really just, like, the, and this is when I was a kid, like, the actual, like, traditional shit, like, whatever they would play at church, and I liked it. And then, you know, I was also into, like, heavy metal and shit at younger ages and, like, punk. And when I found hip-hop that I liked, I just kind of, just went over. myself and I loved it. It's just a new way to express yourself. And it's such a personal thing, or it should be to me, that 
It's just a way to fucking get your whatever fucked up shit. Can I cuss on here? You just okay. did. Go whatever, ahead, brother. Whatever, whatever, <laughs> go ahead, head, brother. Just, like, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, if we're having a and we're having a conversation with Jay about nigga and all that other stuff, yeah. I think a little cuss is gonna be fine. Oh man, that's not even happen. That's how short my fucking memory is right now. Okay, there's a difference between interviewing somebody and cussing every once in a while and it in a song that like constantly repeats in your head. Oh, Brittany was just crawling underneath the camera. I, I thought know. she was crawling around on the floor for the element. Like, I'm like, what are you like doing? Kind of a, a I, I thought limbo? maybe she was. I thought maybe she was like the Rob Sabi and, and she was going for change. Like, I've got this guy that I lift I'm weights with. To be polite. <laughs> I got this guy I lift weights with, and we go out to like Walmart, and he'll see change, and he'll just be like, boom, on it, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> Calm down, brother. You make like 20 grand a year. Calm down, brother. It'll be fine with the change. <laughs> but, uh, so. Do you have any concerts coming up? Yes. Yeah, I have a lot of concerts coming up. I was supposed to be in St. Louis yesterday, but it got pushed back. It was supposed to be the 15th, and it got pushed back, and I couldn't make it. So that kind of sucks. But I have one coming up the 23rd in Shawnee, Kansas, at the Roxy for the, the schools. Look at that. I got. Be there, because I can't make it. Yeah, be there, everybody, if you're in the Kansas City area. <laughs> be there, because I can't make it. <laughs> and uh, I got well, after that, I got Topeka, the 25th, for my boy Karma's record release party. If you don't know Karma, you should. He's a big... He's a big... Uh, big deal. Yeah, he's been doing this underground shit for a long time, and he's helped me out a lot. So I'm mad love to Karma. Um, then after June, June 5th, I'm doing something in Kansas City again, and then June 8th, I'm back in Topeka. June 28th, I'm back in Topeka. And that's what I got this summer so far. Look at that. Anything in Wichita? No, man. Wichita don't like me that much. <laughs> <I'm right there. laughs> I love Wichita, like but much. they don't like me that much. <laughs> I mean, I was at the Elbow Room last month um, for the Team Guillotine tour. They stopped by. So, you know, I get some love. I'm over-exaggerating, but <laughs> it's a tough crowd, man. If, if anyone, you know, anyone will tell you. It's a tough crowd out there. I, lo I love it all the same. From Wichita? Or yeah, I'm from Wichita. See, that's what yeah, they don't. It's like a minority complex. It's like we think ah, if they're from Wichita, they can't be dope. Like, if you're from, <laughs> that's how people that's right. Whether that's they right. want to admit it or not, and I probably you can't. You can't have any talent too. or be good yeah. if you're from Wichita. Uh, you know, they were like, ah, that guy's just from Wichita. Father, yeah, hey, that's just yeah, not to rappers. That's, that's to authors too. Man, we we the ones who did that, and it's like if you're from there. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. And it's, I mean, it is what it is, though. So that's why I've been doing more moves out of. I was in Colorado last month too, like going anywhere I can that'll listen to me on stage. Um, We've got uh, a great guest with us today in studio. Now, how do we find you online? My how name do we, is Connor Rocket. How do we do just, Twitter and all that. this stuff? I have a Twitter, page? but the last thing I posted was on Twitter was about how much I liked Louis C.K. and that was like right before. <laughs> <laughs> I think that shit came out about him. So my Twitter is just one questionable tweet, and I haven't gotten back on since. <laughs> and, uh, on, on Facebook, <laughs> you you didn't delete your Twitter. You just fucking left just Twitter. Instagram, Connor Rocket. Facebook, Connor Rocket. SoundCloud, Connor Rocket. Connor Rocket. It's That's just awesome. my name. I used to go by C Rock. Um, C Rock. Yeah, because it was just what people called C Rock. It was like a nickname, but then it came across as like I don't know, just like a typical rap name. Uh. That's not a... Hey, Maybe it's not. Hey, DJ. Hey, DJ. I want to hear some... Con uh, hey, DJ. I want to hear some Sea Rocket. <laughs> we had this guy who I used like to be that. on our... Uh, <laughs> used to be on our show, and he was, a, he, was a, he was a little mentally handicapped guy, and he always would go out to the local nightclubs here, and he would go up to the DJs and be like, uh, I want to hear some, and then he would, like, quote different rappers. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know... Uh, <laughs> I want to hear some Nelly, you know, and it was just, <laughs> it was just, it was just insert whatever hot rapper at the time. Did they play? <laughs> yeah, they would. <laughs> and then he would go out there and kind of dance and, and people would make fun of him out there on the dance floor. But the guy literally would just dance by himself off in the corner. He was having a good time. Everybody else was being a fucking dick and making fun of him. <laughs> if you're having fun, that's what it's all Yeah, about. it's all matters. Exactly. So, um. DJ Spawn has has one of your tracks. Tell us yeah. a little about this before we play it. So I guess a little dis like disclaimer, like my shit is pretty dark. Um, 
I don't know. <laughs> like well, then you're going to fit in well with our uh, German rapper uh, I would probably rapper, like it. I was going to say, I'd probably later. like it. You know, I'm a little more like, it's not horrorcore, I don't, but it's... Horrorcore? Yeah, horrorcore. It's like a sub- Horrorcore is like uh, Insane Clown Posse, like really Mars. Posse. No, thank uh, you. The no, guy, the guy who was hanging on the walls from Wichita, Jackster, that's horrorcore. It's not that. Not but the guy. So it's also not mainstream, shed, and it's pretty bad. That's not horrorcore. So. No, that that that's just that's just goth metal stuff. Completely different. Okay, well, tell us about your track, and then we'll have a spot. This is called Final Words. It's on my EP that's going to come out this summer sometime. Um, called Apathy Atrophy. The song is called Final Words. Um, check it out. It's produced by Double O Beats. That's my motherfucking dude. Um, dude from Wichita has been doing it for a long time and he showed me a lot of love when I first started and if it wasn't for him I probably wouldn't be doing this shit period so. <laughs> that's awesome so I well, appreciate double O well a lot of love Mr. DJ Spawn take it away my friend Some of these rappers do. Meanwhile, I became the major. So my girl at home and she burning sage with some candles lit and a pentagram. You don't see this kind of shit on Instagram. She cast spells for me. She go to hell for me. And when I meet her there, there ain't a bell for me. Yeah, now that's goals. I'm 98 post goals. Here to keep the game on their toes. I brought some honkies out to that show. Yeah, hit them with the crowd, leave flow. Then I disappear into a cloud of smoke. Getting kind of crowded though. I think some of these dudes just got it. That's word to the big homies, drop top. Yeah, motherfucker, I rap top notch. I can feel it sliding up and down my spinal cord. Family members said they try to help me find the Lord. But I don't see what I really need a silver lining for. But I'll be ready once I figure out my final words. Is a heck of a track. You've got DJ Spawn in the building. I don't see the darkness. Well, cool. Thank you. You're. 
I, mean, I don't see the darkness. And say nice things. <laughs> I don't I'll see the darkness. I don't like something. I earned a big mouth witty broad on this TV or this radio show. Yeah, big mouth witty broad. Yes. That should be a rap name. <laughs> you know. <laughs> After she's the show, she's after the she's show. got two, yeah, she's got a two. song that she guessed it on, and then features? and then she has and then it, <laughs> she's, she's got features, and then she's got a song that she did. Uh, it hasn't been made public. Hasn't yet. been made made public yet. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And now she's a rapper, and when when she showed up today, I'm like, you've got you you, you guessed it on somebody's track. And you have uh, you have your own track, and I'm like, you have put out more original music than probably half the rappers in Wichita that I know. No, no. So, uh, <laughs> yes. I ain't saying no. Uh, <laughs> but don't ask me to freestyle. And they're they're all my buddies, and they all get it. And the ones that don't get it, they're the ones that's gonna that block me on Twitter. That are the rappers <laughs> <laughs> that haven't put out any music. There, there was, you know, and I shouldn't say that it's that it's not exclusive to the rappers. There was a band when I was in high school in McPherson, Kansas. They were a heavy metal band, and they were called Opus. Oh my goodness! And they put out a three-song demo, but their their dad was bankrolling them, and they had merch like nobody's business. They had jackets, hats, T-shirts, lunch boxes, all the bullshit. But the thing about it was that they would always put out always they'd always put out new merch, but never any new music. <laughs> it was all just look at that. Now I got merch and music. Well, see, you've got merch and music. You're doing what you're supposed to do. Opus was just like, we haven't put out any music in three years. But we got these new varsity jackets. I'm like, looking fresh. I know, but you have no more new music. Uh, so, what do you have planned uh, as far as music and tours and all the stuff coming up? Um, I, I just want it to be Go my kinky. job. I would love to quit my nine to five and just rap forever. That's um, awesome. You know, and so I'm trying to go on tour with somebody or get some shit set up with this music stuff. There's a lot of letdown, so I try not to get too invested. In yes. A lot of yes. A lot of he say she say shit that don't actually happen. Uh huh. But I try not to get jaded. Just try to keep plugging away, do what I can do. Just keep making music, keep booking shows, and stay and making it happen. Try to get relevant and stay relevant. So awesome. Well, uh, before we let you go, how do we find you online and pick up your just, stuff you and everything else? My name, Connor Rocket, or Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Like I said, I got that one questionable tweet. Um, SoundCloud. <laughs> I'm on Spotify. One questionable I always tweet. forget I'm on Spotify. I am on Spotify. Um, but that was back when I was going by C-Rock, so it might be easier to type that. Well, uh, with that, uh, I appreciate you being with us, brother. Sure and you, uh, we 